I used to have a ton of nuts and bolts in a big bucket. And every time I needed like a, a nut or something or a, <clears throat> a bolt like this, I would have to rummage through this big bucket of bolts that I had. And I got so tired of it that I finally decided I was going to organize every nut and bolt I had. And I had a lot of nuts and bolts. And so I just um, <laughs> took on this uh, took on this job of, uh, it took me months to go through that entire bucket of nuts and bolts and sort them all out so that I, I had some, you know, I had them in certain sections everywhere. Um, and then now, now I can just go into my cabinet and grab a bolt whenever I want and, or a nut. I basically got Home Depot, um, the hardware section of Home Depot in my, in my cabinet. I'll show it to you in a second, but sometimes I just do this. It's, it seems like it's a waste of time, but it, there's two benefits to doing what I'm doing right now. It's, it's, um, it's therapeutic. I mean, it really kind of is therapeutic. You're just kind of looking at this puzzle here and you're just kind of going through it. Like I'm going through it. Like, see, these are, these are round head, uh, bolts. So I have a, a cabinet called Roundhead Bolts, and and uh, you know they they go together, and these are Roundhead. See, they they got a round head to them, so they they go together. But then some of these, you know, like this is a bolt, a hex head bolt, so that goes into a different bucket. These are hex head. These are round, um, round Phillips heads. So uh, this is what I do sometimes. I just sit here and I. I organized my nuts and bolts. Sounds crazy, but uh, let me show you what the end result is. So I have this cabinet, and inside the cabinet is my hardware store. And if you look at this, you'll see the top shelf has just all kinds of things. You know, it says electrical, so I've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five electricals. And in these electricals, you'll see all kinds of different connectors that I've got. This one has washers, so if you look at this, you'll see just tons of washers kind of organized in their own little slots. Bolt, bolts, bolt, bolts, bolts, lag bolts, nuts, nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts, flat screws, That's and these are round head screws. And then down here, I've got black, black uh, screws. These are those um, drywall screws, and then these are old ones that I've used before and I've put into here. And then these are all like bigger bolts, and it doesn't stop there. I mean, there's there's more down here, nails and nuts and wall anchors and temperature sensors and self-tapping screws and auto bulbs and staples and you name it. And this shelf has lag bolts and all kinds of uh, other stuff. So <laughs> you can see it's just completely filled top to bottom with all of my organized nuts and bolts and so to keep it that way I'll use something or I'll let's say I'll put in a, um, a uh, I'll order something on Amazon and it'll come with all these extra nuts and bolts and so I'll end up um, throwing them all into a bucket over here uh, you see these little cups and stuff so this one has nuts in it this has got some long you know, threaded rods in it, and um, this one has a bunch of screws like this, and all of this will be organized into those bins over there. So, I'll tell you what, if you want to, if you've got something like this, and a big conglomeration of nuts and bolts, and there's all kinds of, this came in a, some kind of, I don't know, something that I bought, came with all these washers and bolts and everything, and so I've got those and they'll end up in the bins and I'll never use them all in a, in a lifetime, but, um, but I have them. And if I need something, I just go to my cabinet and take it out. I don't have to run to Home Depot or anything. So, uh, and I do a lot of work in my garage. So, um, just a little tip on how to get organized.